Hello, friends. I am Finish Lee. This video is part of my chemical process piping channel on YouTube. This video is about the role of piping engineer. Piping engineering is a specialized branch dealing with design and layouts of process plant, pipe networks, and equipments. It creates layouts for drawings of plant. These are used for plant construction at site. Important considerations are process requirements, safety, ease of operation, maintenance, compliance with statutory requirements, and economy. Role of piping engineer is preparation of plot plan, equipment layout, piping studies, and piping specification. Review of process package, offering inputs to different departments such as civil, electrical, instrumentation, etc. Preparation of drawings with piping layouts, piping isometrics, supports drawings, pipe stress analysis, and procurement assistance. Preparation of drawings for statutory approvals. Review of vendor drawings, coordination with various engineering groups and site, and completion and commissioning of plant. Important documents produced by piping engineer are plot plan. It involves arrangement of all units of plant in logical manner to take care of flow of materials, statutory requirements, and good engineering practices. Equipment layouts showing layout of all equipments. Satisfying process requirements. Safety. Statutory regulations. Ease of operation and maintenance. And economy. Piping layouts. Layout of piping networks in process plants to carry fluids from one equipment to another. Activities with piping engineer are review of process package. This activity is carried out prior to start of detailed engineering to ensure availability of all data required by all engineering groups. Process data required, converting P and IDS into piping layouts with proper location of valves, instruments, and fittings. Review of process package like utility summary indicating consumption of utilities for each equipment with conditions of duty, like pressure, temperature, etc. Conceptual equipment layout drawings of the process plant reflecting the process constraints. Process data sheets for equipments. Hazardous area classification. Design planning to get information required for planning various design activities. With all data, he planned engineering activities. Contract instruction, basis of project design and scope of work, and basic engineering document. Design planning with site design data, facilities around lot, contour and site survey drawings, applicable codes, standards, and statutory regulations. Schedule and perch and CPM network of project. Basic engineering documents are plot plan, equipment layouts, and pipe rack study sketches. Basic engineering documents are study piping layouts, piping specifications, Utility distribution diagrams, line list and critical line list. Detailed engineering documents also include drawings with piping layouts, material takeoff MTO and bong for piping items, nozzle orientation for fabricated equipment, and pipe stress analysis. Detailed engineering document also include piping isometric drawings, 
height support locations and drawings, fire button specifications and drawings, drawings for statutory approval. Other activities include review of drawings for machinery and other bought out items, review of drawings for special piping items, specifications for bellows, spring hangers. Other activities also include specifications for insulation and painting of equipment and piping, updating the team and RV based on detailed engineering, scheme for the erection of equipment in consultation with site engineer, review of other documents, utility summary to evaluate utilities consumed by each equipment with unique conditions like pressure, temperature, flow, state of fluid, critical data like freezing point, review or conceptual equipment layout like general arrangement of equipment considering process requirements, spacing, and elevation of equipment, review of python material specification, such as specification for basic material and strength for pipes, fittings, tanges, valves and gaskets, etc. Review of type of storage. It indicates state of fluid and type of equipment to be used. Vertical or horizontal tanks, silos, warehouse and bullets, etc. Review or hazard classification. It gives special precautions to be taken and type of hazard for the fluid that is handled. Class of fire, A, B, C, etc. Flammability, toxicity, future expansion. Preparation of plot plan. These include process units, raw material storage, finished product storage, utilities generation area, pipe rack, electrical receiving station and distribution. Facility blocks like workshop, way bridge, canteen, etc. Administrative block, security, car and trucks parks. Fire system, effluent treatment, green belt as well as future requirements. Following the documents are required to develop lot plan, plot boundary and contour survey, access road and railway. Incoming utilities, like electric power, water, feedstock, etc. Direction of wind, and existing facilities around lot. Factors for developing lot plan are statutory requirements of factory inspector, control of explosives, tariff advisory committee, pollution board, local bodies, Aviation authorities and hazardous area classification. Factors for developing plot plan are site contour, drainage, effluent disposal, roads, pipe racks, underground pipelines, process and climb requirement, material movement and worker management. Ensure following while developing plot plan. Utilities are closed to process plant to reduce cost of pipes and racks, tanks, warehouse for raw materials and finished products should be closed to local railway. Utility area should be closer for better control. Ensure following while developing plot plan, direction of wind is taken care of while locating chimney, cooling tower, etc. Effluent disposal is towards natural gradient of plot, and tanks for hazardous material should be away from plant area. Basic engineering documents. These are pipe rack study sketches, prepared taking into account requirements of piping, electrical and instrument cable trays to be routed between different plant areas. Documents used by civil, piping, Electrical and instrument groups to prepare detailed construction drawings. 
Then the pipe layouts are the documents prepared to show moving of critical process lines, which could affect functioning of plant. Documents reviewed by process licensor. Form basis of detailed pipe layout drawing. Pipe and specification which specify in detail all piping items required for plant. Various piping items required for particular duty condition, depending on type of fluid. Line pressure and temperature listed under one class and specification. Pipe and specification with utility flow diagrams UFD are similar to P&ID. Prepared based on utility summary furnished by process group. Shows generation and distribution of utilities in plant. Line numbers and line list. All process and utility lines appearing in the and IBS and USDs have given unique serial numbers in this document. Operating, design and test conditions, insulation and painting requirements are also listed on line list. Critical line list. All lines requiring stress slash vibration analysis are listed in these documents. Equipment layout. Packaged items like water, water treatment plants, refrigeration unit, pipe racks, electrical and instrument table trays, MCC and control rooms, AC ducting. Offices and maintenance area. Features of building showing columns, beams, wall, floors, openings, staircases, passages, etc. Space for two removal for heat exchangers. Monorails, lifting bays and hoists. Documents required to develop these are equipment layouts. Process P and IDS. Utility P and IB. And line list. Pipe and layouts. Documents required to develop these are pipe and specifications. Equipment data sheet for vendor drawings. Civil structural drawings. Details of the line instrumentation and requirement of information. Points be kept in mind while developing pipe and layouts, slopes, vents and drains, barometric leg for vacuum lines. Requirement of instruments. Straight length for flow measuring instruments. Location of control valves, safety valves, etc. Points be kept in mind while developing piping layouts, safety requirements, operation and maintenance, accessibility, service or hose stations and safety showers. Stress analysis. It is carried out for all lines covered in critical line list. It ensures flexibility of lines operating at elevated temperatures. It ensures load requirements for nozzle on equipment due to expansion of pipes is within permissible limits. Sketches of stretched lines are prepared in isometric format showing location of all supports. Stress analysis ensures Integrity of pipe and pipe components against pressure in dead loads. Flexibility of pipe from thermal expansion. Safety of novel of connected equipment. Proper support against dead weight, thermal expansion and occasional loads and earthquakes. Proper selection and specification of special supports like spring hangers and expansion joints. Stress analysis is carried out for stress critical lines. Lines with elevated temperatures. Pipe having 80 MB and above and if temperature is greater than 200 degrees centigrade. And pipe having 150 MB and above and if temperature is greater than 120 degrees centigrade. Lines checked are equipment critical lines. Lines connected to rotating machinery like pumps, compressors, turbines, centrifuges, etc. Fire heaters, air coolers, brittle linings, 
Analysis ensures that nozzle loads are within stipulated maximum levels specified by code for equipment vendors. Also those lines checked are those are support critical lines. Lines with two base flow. Very thick and very thin lines. These are lines with diameter to thickness ratio between 10 and 90 and release valve discharge lines. High stress analysis is carried out. It is done using software like CAE, PXEE, CSER, II, MONSIS, etc. Output data is tabulated on stress sketch. Loading of novel on equipment is sent to MIFA or mechanical group for approval if it exceeds the permissible limit. Requirements of pipe stress analysis. These are stress sketch report, support arrangement, design conditions, material code, pipe size, thickness of insulation, displacement of nitrous, and code of stress compliance. Requirements of pipe stress analysis. These are loads from nozzles, loads on supports, specifications of spring support, specifications of expansion bellows, movement of piping, and loading. Statutory approvals from various statutory bodies like Chief Inspector of Factories, Chief Inspector of Border, Chief Controller of Explosives, Petroleum Act and Rules for Storage Tanks, Gas Cylinder and Static and Mobile Pressure Vessels. Statutory approvals from various statutory bodies like Safety Directorate for Oil Industry, Tariff Advisory Committee, Board of Pollution Control, local bodies like Municipal or District Authorities, Port and Aviation or Highway. Electrical Inspection and Town Planning. Role of Piping Engineer at Site. Supervision of Fabrication and Eruption of Equipment and Piping. Coordination with Clients. Contractors and Detailed Engineering Office. Planning and Monitoring Work for Timely Completion of Work. Conduct Welding Procedures and Performance Qualifications. Assure quality of work done by contractors. Maintain quality assurance and quality controls records. Ensure that lifting equipment tools are in proper condition. Check alignment of equipment. Ensure that work done is carried out as per P and IB. Layout lines and isometrics. Check critical pipe supports. Visual check and radiography tests of welded joints. Check quality of insulation and painting as per step. Witness hydrostatic or pneumatic pressure test. Testing of pipes as per procedures of commissioning. Mechanical commissioning of rotating equipment and water trial runs of system. Cat in piping engineering. There are a number of softwares, AutoCAD and MicroStation, ST3D or PDMs for 3D plant design, CADPE or CFER2, Monsies or Trifle. AutoCAD or MicroStation are useful for P and IB, plot plans, equipment layouts, piping plans, piping isometrics, Piping support drawings. Auto cab or micro station replaces drawing board. Draws new drawings. Fast modifications and copying of identical parameters. Also good lettering. If P3D or PDMs or others. Same features of 3D package are input data via forms and menus. Easy conceptualization of plant layouts, online detection of clashing of lines, and customization. Various information obtained from SP3D or PEMs are piping layouts, ducting layouts, turbo tray layouts, isometrics and material takeoffs. 
engineers of various disciplines civil, structural, piping can work on their modules in one model. Input from other packages. Linking to in-house programs or procurement. Piping set in user format. Advantages of modeling softwares. Time saving. Accurate results. Can solve problems with number of branches of pipelines. Can solve problems consisting of occasional various combinations of lots and by number one support. Thanks for learning. If you like this video, please give a like to my channel and subscribe it.